Missing out in Middleburg, a community looking to rebuild its fire department hits a snag over a big state grant. Now the village is demanding answers. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Lydia Colbita. And I'm Mark Baker. John is off tonight. Three years after Irene flooded Middleburg, the village is still rebuilding. And its fire department was hoping nearly $1 million in state funding meant for Irene. Ravaged areas would help it build up its ranks. But New York apparently had a different answer for them. It's our top story tonight at 6. And Houston ABC's Lindsay Nielsen is live with the details on that. Lindsay. Mark, the confusion here has turned to just utter heartbreak for the Middleburg Fire Department. The department and the mayor tell me that they had no idea this disaster recovery grant would not cover equipment costs, but the governor's office of storm recovery says that's not true. But the department tells me they wouldn't have spent over a year on planning and research if they had known. That's the jaws of life that was purchased back in the 70s. Just one of the many pieces of equipment the Middleburg Fire Department requested to be replaced by the New York Rising Disaster Recovery Grant. A new tanker and fire gear, also crucial according to First Assistant Fire Chief Brian Devlin. On Tuesday, New York Rising told the department and village officials the grant money allocated by HUD can't cover equipment costs. It's a plan Devlin says he spent more than a year on. We were never told that this would not be included. In the plan under regulatory restrictions, it says none identified. The governor's office of storm recovery says committee chair members were aware that the disaster recovery grant can't cover equipment costs. One of those members, Sarah Goodrich, says she does not make any approval decisions, but says she knows HUD, which allocates the money, does not pay for equipment. To me is appalling for one, what we went through and something needs to be done because we can't put all this tax burden on its taxpayers to try to get this fire department where we need to be. Residents say the department was the backbone of the community during devastating floods from Hurricanes Irene and Lee. They are concerned for their safety with the more than $900,000 the department needs to purchase the equipment. Uh, what are we going to do? And if we're relying on our, on our government to help us, where are they in return when we're saying, hey, where are you? We should concern everybody. The better they are equipped, the better they can handle what comes up. The mayor says the money needed to pay for this equipment is actually more than the village's annual budget. So he says he's not really sure how much they can help, but he says the village will try its best. Live in Middleburg, I'm Lindsay Nielsen for News 10 ABC.